this right here, man. The ultimate team. What's up, everybody? Ballard here. I just got to make this quick video that I just got done watching the documentary that aired tonight on the SEC Network um, at uh, 7 Eastern. The ultimate team. The story of the 2020 Alabama football season. And I know that we're fixing to enter... 2021 i know last year um is practically irrelevant for right now but just watching that documentary going back and you watch it and you just see the togetherness of the team and uh you know saban uh during the a-day spring game or actually i'm sorry i think it was right after uh they had the championship celebration right there in the stadium they had a uh, Devonte back they had mac jones they had all those guys back to celebrate the team and uh it was incredible, and he just, he went on to talk about the togetherness, right? He, he talks about, you know, oh, we had this team or that team, and he loved them all, but this team especially, you know, kind of showing some favoritism. But you can't blame him. You need to go back, or you don't have to, but if you go back and you find highlights, or you go and if you get a chance, go on later and watch this documentary, man. Every touchdown of the season, man. They were right there. Mac Jones to Devontae Smith to Najee to whoever it was. Everybody was hugging everybody. Everyone was just loving on each other, showing passion, showing character, and, and just, you know, that's the togetherness of that team, you know. Um, and I don't know if it was the pandemic that did that to them. Um, this was senior-led. You know, practically. I mean, I think Jones was like a redshirt senior or j maybe a junior. Either way, these guys were gone anyway. We're losing Waddle. He's with the Dolphins. Smitty's reunited with Hurts in, in Philadelphia. Najee to the Steelers. Mac Jones has gone to the Patriots and so on. I think Leatherwood went to the Raiders. All these guys are gone now. Um, and I'm, I'm going to say this again. I think I said it earlier this year. Right, I always want my team to win the championship, but now that I think about it, man, that team was just that special that it doesn't matter what happens this year, when our next title is, even if it's fifteen and zero instead of thirteen and zero like that one was. You can't top what Mac Jones, Devonte Smith, and company did. You can't top that. It was too much. You know, it it was that. And it was special to see this documentary. So shout out to the SEC Network for putting it out and everyone that put it together. Shout out to Coach Saban. Shout out to the team. We need to work on this year, though. I will say that. Uh, you got the summer uh, going on right now. You got practices, and I'm sure guys are in pads. I'm looking forward to maybe the next time, I guess. It might be August during fall practice or camp uh, when we hear from Nick Saban again and really any other uh, football coaches, honestly, you know, when you look at media. I mean, obviously, um, you know, we have media days this week, actually, now that I remember. I'm glad I uh, caught that. But um, uh, outside of that, you know, pretty much, you'll still have to wait a few weeks until, I guess, the month of August and uh, hearing about fall camp. But I'm looking forward to this football season. But like I said, man, there's sp something very special about last year's Alabama Crimson Tide football team. And uh, shout out to Mac Jones, Waddle, Devontae Smith, Najee, all of those guys. Leatherwood, Dickerson on the O-line, the defense. We got a lot of guys coming back defensively. We lose guys like Barmore, Moses, um, Pat Sertan. But this was the ultimate team. As the documentary said, as Nick Saban said, and just it was great to see that documentary tonight. Uh, and again, credit to SEC Network and all the guys that put it together um, to make a great documentary. And um, love them or hate them, you cannot deny that last year's Alabama team was special. I'm not here to say that it was better than 2019 LSU or anything. But if you want to talk togetherness and family and just a bond of players and brothers... Last year's team can't be topped with that category. I love you guys. I love my Alabama Crimson Tide. I always will. And um, let's hope to win it again uh, this year. I don't know if it'll be as good. But 
hey, you know Saban's got something in store. Love you guys. God bless. Jesus loves you. Like, comment, and subscribe right here to Ballard Sports Media for more sports content. And until next time, Ballard Sports Media checking out. Love you guys. Roll Tide Roll. Woo!